I grew up in Preservation Hall. I found myself here four or five years old through the relationship with my sister, who was then on the staff working here. I really loved being around the musicians. I don't know, for some reason, they thought I was cute or something. They talked to me, you know? I mean, the likes of Billy and Dee Dee Pierce, Ernie Cagnoletti, Kid Thomas, Chester Zardes, Saeed Frazier. All those were people that I looked forward to being able to have a little chat with. And sometimes they'd give me a bunch of BS, but I didn't understand that they were being my mentors at the time. I just saw them as folk, you know, just folk I got to, to speak to. But indeed, they did become all the influence I have on the music. The music was much simpler then. I, I thought that it was a very beautiful style, and I, that's what I wanted to emulate. <laughs> I feel the ghost of all those people. And looking at the paintings on the wall, where my mind goes back in memory of them, it's a very unique place that I don't know any other place that I get the same spirit. There's spirits in places, you know? And there's definitely one here. Definitely one here. At this point in my life, I spend most of my days in a classroom of some sort. I feel it's my obligation, not necessarily in the, in the same way, but to pass on the spirit of the things that I learned and that influenced me to be a part of the music. It gives me great feelings of success when I can pass the music on directly or indirectly. <laughs>